Now, this is the new hot thing, right? Since, since us niggas is waking up, when I say niggas, I do definitely mean bar all you other cocksuckers. When they say bar nothing, all bitch, we barring all to motherfucking day. Niggas are copper colored, aboriginal inhabitant of America found here by the original settlers and explorers. Got that out the fucking way. Now, can you ask yourself why, after imprisoning so many niggas, so many American Negroes, now they would love to have this to criminalize? Do you think it's really about money? Ask yourself, what need do a group of people have for money who print their own? So, money is not an object. It is not the principal topic when we talk about marijuana criminalization you know we're talking about power here because if most of you motherfuckers wake up one day and figure out that you are not african americans you're not negroes you're not negroids you're australoids you're aborigines you're american indians you're going to start reading these laws and these treaties the civil rights bills where you're going to start and then you're going to end up in the treaties of 17 18 16 etc etc 14 even prior to that probably but nevertheless you're gonna end up reading these papers and you're gonna slowly find out that so much of this shit you've been doing participating in and been subject to you are above going to jail for marijuana is what we're gonna cover right now because that's what we that's the topic baby now if marijuana is legal for the American Negro And the American Negro has been taken to prison by the millions. Do you know what kind of shit storm is waiting and brewing if these goofy ass brain dead niggas decide to wake up? Hmm? Huh? If they realize that the RICO effect is not for them, the RICO law ain't got no precedence, no jurisdiction over them. How many, how many Men will be freed. Women will be free. Who were arrested unrighteously in the first goddamn place? Well, everything outside murder. And theft. And rape. But other than that, when motherfuckers are just doing business, they ain't breaking no laws because they make the fucking laws because it's their fucking land. Now that you niggas are waking up, we waking up in pockets. We got niggas waking up on the East Coast. All through the Southeast Coast. All in the Gulf, all in California, all in the North, and all in the Midwest. Waking up. Realizing that they beholden to no English in my empire. No English man or woman, Scotsman, Irishman, Celt, Dutch, Deutsch, Persian, Mongoloid. No one, except for the tribe itself. We govern ourselves. We made a decision on what's right and fucking wrong. Before you can take one of ours, you have to bring them to us. We deal with that. And then we let you know if you are going to be able to take them. Or if we are going to keep them in the tribe, in the village, and deal with them the way they should be dealt with. You see, this shit is deeper. <sighs> Two, deeper than $2 hooker pussy. Let me tell you something. Now, y'all can keep playing this game if y'all want to. Keep playing this motherfucking game if you fucking want to. Keep on playing this game. Should you don't decriminalize that shit? Because it's been legal for you this whole time. They the ones who are going to benefit from this shit, not, not you. Because if it's been legal for you this whole motherfucking time, you just now figuring out that it's been legal for you. It's a whole world opportunity out there for you. And if you decriminalize it for these American colonizers... You're making more competition for yourself. But then again, you don't have no competition because you are the greatest. And don't let me lie to you. Okay? Everybody around the world got something from you. And don't want to give it back. Hate you and love you so damn much they got to live up underneath you. Leave that goddamn country to come be up underneath you. To see you face to face. Touch your hair. Smell your cocoa butter. Eat your bananas. Taste your watermelon. Watch this. Watch this shit. Watch this shit.
great news for you and your family. You can get... After hundreds of years of persecution and abuse, the U.S. government legally defined the Federal Indian Trust responsibility. It was a pivotal time in history when the U.S. government, building upon previous court rulings... A whole lot of dark is in that picture right now, y'all. Seems like they might have some American nigga in Slight energy had a feature in Mongolian going on there. Let me explain to you why cannabis is legal for American Indians. We don't give a fuck about Native Americans. That's a discussion another time. We gotta have a powwow, sweat lodge, and a peace pipe session about that shit because there's some traitors in our fucking midst. But nevertheless, cannabis, marijuana, marijuana, cannabis, indica, sativa, etc., all that shit, hemp is legal for American Indians because the same reason that. We don't fucking pay taxes. The same reason why nobody has jurisdiction over us. The same reason why you don't need a fucking driver's license. It's because this is your fucking land. Who the, why, why the fuck would you, taxes? Let's knock that out. Why the fuck would you pay rent to a motherfucker who don't own the goddamn house? Who does not live with you? You don't fucking know this motherfucker. He's a stranger. You're going to give money to a random motherfucker that came to your motherfucking land for no other reason besides they say so. Yeah. Driver's license. Let's knock that out. Why the fuck do you need a driver's license when it's your motherfucking land? You travel this motherfucker from sea to shine and fucking see if you feel. You don't need no motherfucking paperwork to fucking get on no goddamn plane. Well, you know, that bullshit with them crazy ass, uh, is Islamic uh, CIA funded motherfuckers it, it, it motherfuckers bad shit fucking crazy so maybe now we might need some kind of identification but we, you know for the most part you don't need that boy this your land all this shit built with your resources off the back of your ancestors your sweat blood and tears how many cr crackers pale faces invading colonizers have you made rich with your labor in your motherfucking house your motherfucking land your resources You govern yourself. Your land. We ain't talking to Africans. We ain't talking to fucking Moors. We ain't talking to English. We ain't talking to Dutch, German, French, Spaniards, Italians. Damn sure not Africans. We talking about American Indians. We talking about Aborigines, baby. We talking about Australoids. We talking about Olmec blood. We talking about Mayans. We talking about Peru, Moshe. Muscogee. Chatamobile. The Oklahoma. The Red Man. Right? Man, stop playing with these people, man. Get your shit together, man. Get on your shit. What I say, what what I say, baby? What do I say, baby? Come on now. We done made at least two of these now. Don't be out here half assing, my nigga. Get on your shit. Shit, I'm trying to get Bottle Creek back fucking around. Why the fuck would I want to go to Africa? The bitch, I got my own pyramids. My ancestors built right here in motherfucking... Oh, I <sighs> hey, take a chill pill. I almost flipped the fuck out. Pyramids. Oil deposits. Gold mine. My clan. Who's on top of it? Who's running it? Pale faces. How did they get it? Don't fucking know. Do they legally own it? No, they can't fucking legally own shit, okay? At least of all, my motherfucking, my motherfucking land. Not my tribal land. There ain't nobody, we ain't, we ain't had no motherfucking discussion about how they put it, you know what I'm saying? How, how, who, who, who get paid for what? They digging up my ancestors' body every motherfucking day in Bottle Creek. And I just got tired of playing this motherfucking game, man. We're not finna play this game no motherfucking more. My land, my resources, my people. We finna get it in order. And that's just what it is. You don't like it, you know, hey, take your ass, pack your shit, get the fuck up, and go back to where the fuck you come from. Simple. Shout out to Les Will. Okay. Eldon taught me so much shit, I can't even, you know, I can't look at nobody the same. I'm, I'm like phenotype. Height, weight, bone structure, 
nose, cheek structure, chin, pedigree, <coughs> dark man X. <laughs> Broke down so so many aspects of law. It's ridiculous. Lex gonna teach you how to free your goddamn self. Dark man ain't gonna show you how to keep yourself fucking free. American Indian Council definitely gonna show you how to dominate some shit. Now we ain't finna fuck around now. Dane Calloway, you know, he got good shit, but he mixed bullshit in with the good shit. You know, he throws in the Moors and the Africans and shit and Asiatic Mongoloids and say, oh, you know, we like once a motherfucker puts in Mongoloids, Siberians, Africans, and Moors into the mix of anything involving American Indian outside of treaties, trade, warfare. They're an agent, and it's not. A, it's not a discussion at this point. We not gonna have this talk no more. I was following Dane Holloway. I supported some of his videos, put them shits out, and I was all oh, he doing good work. And then he started fucking up and started throwing out that more shit. And how do you know what the bitch the definition of a more is? A motherfucking black person, okay? You ask these goddamn Persians, and they tell you the more is slaves, and they'll laugh at it too. They think the shit is funny. They're like, you can't be taking these motherfuckers serious. We enslaved the shit out them busters, kicked them out the country, and all kind of shit. I was like, hey man, I'm talking to my motherfucking um. My Hindu Stanley friend, uh, acquaintance rather, because you know I'm not a friend of a colonizer until you earn earn that. But anyway, I'm talking to him. I was like, "Man, what about the Moors?" And he was like, "You mean the slaves?" Didn't miss a fucking beat. Didn't wait a second. Yeah. So these niggas out here got you signing away your motherfucking life, your rights, and your goddamn uh, your sovereignty, my nigga. To you, they the shit. But to the people that come from them lands. These motherfuckers that got uh, exiled, kicked out the motherfucking land. They would, we don't know why the fuck they got kicked out. But Phoenix Moon, you know, she knows something. They got these motherfuckers going crazy, pulling their fucking hair out. I don't know what's wrong with these niggas, but when a, a woman or a whole yo can come out and, and make you feel some type of way with words, she ain't even touched you. She ain't even, you know, threw a rock at your motherfucking ass. But Phoenix Moon knows so motherfucking much. Ain't he got them niggas out there drove. Oh, we gonna send job, we gonna do this and up there. I'm not like I toss this one. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Dane should chill too. Cause I done converse with both of you guys. Let me tell you something. I don't know who the fuck sent y'all. Y'all either crazy as shit house rats. Or you got an ulterior motherfucking mode. Now, I talk to this one, you know, so he's sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes he, he an Indian, sometimes he a fucking more. He could be a mixed breed. He could be an interloper, you know what I mean? He could have that shit in his bloodline. It is what it is, you know? We run the gamut from uh, albino to dark chocolate, Hershey bar color red, you know what I mean? So, anybody could have mixed in, you know? But, you know, them actions. Them actions let you know who the fuck is who and who work for who and where the fuck they come from. Am I guilty of uh, seeing people represent our culture and our history in a proper manner and supporting them before knowing them fully? Fuck yeah, I am. Fuck yeah, I am. But when I find out the motherfucking real deal, I nip that shit in the butt real quick. Ah, it's a aboha. A bashe zambo. I ain't fucking around, man. But that's it for now, my G. Yeah. Get your shit straight. That part.